Okay. Once again, may the peace of Christ be within you. And also within you. Thank you. The peace of Christ truly is a game changer. Trust that, receive that. It is a gift for all of us. And from that gift of peace, we also receive a sense of playfulness, a sense of openness, and a sense of learning new things. And that brings us to the time of worship that we know as Time for Discovery. So everybody, welcome aboard. We are looking at two stories today from the Gospel of Mark, and they are amazing stories, and it's kind of interesting to have these stories on Mother's Day. So, you know, Mother's Day, that can be a happy day for some people, but it also can be kind of a sad day or a day where you might have some mixed emotions. And our two stories today kind of have different emotions going on in them. So the first story involves some religious authorities. So I think we need a couple of religious authorities today. Some really mean people. So that's what we're looking for. Really mean people to be um, religious authorities. I think we have a couple here. Um, they look, don't they look mean to you? I think. Let's take a look at them. All right. High religious authorities. Yeah, you're going to wave to me. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you guys look kind of judgy to me. So, are you in town to judge Jesus today? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Watch out, Jesus, they're here. So, okay, well, your first part of the story, and you're, you're over here kind of near the Sea of Galilee with your story. So that's kind of where Jesus hangs out. You've come up from Jerusalem. Yeah, how's the water? Yeah. So uh, you, you'll, you've come up to kind of monitor him. And then the second story that follows this one in Mark chapter 7 actually involves a mother. How nice for this day. So let's check in with this mother and see how she's doing today. Hello. Oh, it's Mother's Day. How you doing? Yeah, kind of so-so. Is that your daughter? Oh, she's not doing too great. Oh, I'm so sorry. That is really hard, especially on Mother's Day. I'm so sorry. Oh, gosh. I hope something can be done. You know, I hear Jesus the healer is coming your way. Maybe he can help? Yeah. Well, be of good courage, okay? Let's see what happens. Jesus is way over there right now. I think I see him. He's coming. He's way over there by the Sea of Galilee. But I hear that coming way over here to the city of Tyre is on his itinerary. So he's going to make a road trip over here. So let's see what happens next. Let's listen for God's word. Reading today from Mark chapter 7, verses 5 to 8 and verse 14, and chapter 15, verses 24 to 30. The Pharisees and the scribes asked Jesus, Why do you, your disciples, not live according to the tradition of the elders? but eat with defiled hands. Jesus said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites. As it is written, this people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandment of God and hold to human tradition. Mm -hmm. 
Then Jesus called the crowd again and said to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a person that, can, that by going in can defile. But the things that come out are what defile. From there, Jesus set out and went away to the region of Tyre. Jesus entered a house and did not want anyone to know that he was there. But Jesus could not escape notice. But a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit immediately heard about him. And she came and bowed down at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile of Syrophoenician origin. She begged Jesus to cast out the demon of her daughter. Jesus said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. But the woman answered Jesus, Sir, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then Jesus said to her, For saying that, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. So she went home, and she found the child lying on the bed, and the demon was gone. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Wow, thank you for helping these wonderful texts and difficult texts come to life today. Let's have a listen and repeat prayer. Dear God, Dear God it's, Mother's it's Mother's Day. Let it be a day, be a day of, healing of healing and love, and love for everyone. In Jesus, name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you again for helping God's word come to life today.